Hello everyone and welcome to Catherine's Q&A episode 12. This is a series where we get to talk about mythological creatures, beasts being and the like from all around the world. And I always preface by saying that I'm not a linguist. So if I accidentally butcher a name, obviously it's not intentional. And today we're actually kind of going with the same theme of last week where we're going to be talking a little bit about a mythological bird. But this one's going to come from uh, the Middle East. We're actually going to be discussing the rock and again no relation to the wrestler now the rock comes from um, the arabian area and has been written about multiple times in different natural history documents as well as fairy tales and sailor folklore of the time um, it originally comes from a persian word uh, i think it was pronounced like rocks at that um, since rock nowadays is roc not R-O-C-K, as you find in the ground. Um, and it actually may have been inspired by a mythological bird from India called Garuda, because that's another massive bird um, who was known to hunt a fearsome Naga races. Now, um, again, that's another story for another day, going back to the Middle East. The roc is this giant predatory bird often depict, I think, in images more like an eagle that was so large that it could hunt and actually pick up and carry off full-grown bull elephants. So more often than not, if you've heard about the creature, you've seen it, some kind of imagery of, again, this gigantic, this um, gargantuan bird and potentially uh, correlated with the hunting of elephants. Some of the more famous references to the rock um, in the historical-ish category-ish uh, are tales of Marco Polo. When he was traveling around, he was hearing stories of this giant bird-like creature and had written down in one of his documents about how this bird, probably coming from Madagascar, um, existed and the great Khan um, sent people to kind of track down these creatures, bringing back a feather, which um, was identified as, I think they put, definitely not a griffin, so it had to be a rock. <laughs> so that was one of the references in a little more historical um, instance, if we can call it this. And of course, uh, some of the other famous references that deal with the rock come from the Thousand and One Nights um, collection. And they are in Sinbad the Sailor, which some people may have heard about his adventures. And one, another fellow, let me see if I remember his name correctly. I think it's Abd al Ramar, Ramar, something like, can like that. I again apologize if I mess that up. But um, the rock again was just a interesting creature that came about, um, probably inspired again by another uh, group of people and their uh, mythos. So I think that's kind of cool. Again, mythology evolving uh, as it as information is passed throughout the ancient worlds. And today, again, rocks appear in different mythological movies and books, and I've even written about it in one of my series as well. But if you have any questions for me about this or any other mythological creature being um, or anything at all, message me on my social media or my comments below. And until next time, Skull.